All right. <laughs> We're riding Lena this time. And uh, she's got places to be, it seems. Very busy horse. So I'm working with her a little bit to get her to be a little less busy. And I've got the gate open here. I just duck down a smidge. And I'm going to try to just get her to go on the pathways that I want to go on. Hello, Roni. And uh, you guys are along for the ride again. I want to go right. On her along again, the same old pathways. It's been a bit rainy today, but it's not raining now, which is good. And uh, it's fresh smelling, it's a bit crisp. Very fresh smelling foresty air. If you've ever been in the Pacific Northwest, you know what it smells like. And if you haven't, well, you should. It's very very fresh, kind of earthy. Some people call it like a bit of a sweet smell. It's not cloudy. <laughs> um, and uh, we're working on getting Lena a bit of exercise. When the vet came, he commented on that she could uh, possibly lose a little weight. And I said, yeah, <laughs> it's true. I'm not going back in the arena here. I'm going to keep on going around. Travel around a little bit. A little Roni again. On the left. There's Luke. Do a little horsey check on horseback if you want to. Hey buddy. Passing by. It's a lovely day to be honest, even though it's cloudy. And even though it rained, and even though it's a little wet, it's still pretty nice. I'm gonna hang it right, I hope. So I gotta stop her, I'm now listening. I use my reins a little, but generally I try to ride with just my body. So I just keep asking just a little bit, just not much, just still slacking my reins. There we go. And uh, down the path we go. It is walking diagonally. But uh, sometimes I let them just sort of ride a little. Just kind of go where they want. <laughs> Putting some nibbles along the way. I'll hang a right. Say hi to Roni again. Hello, Roni. <laughs> Lena's actually come out of. Uh, Two lessons, almost back to back, actually. And uh, fantastic teacher, as always. There she is. Teaching both the young and old how to, uh, <laughs> how to get along with horses and understand what they, uh, what they expect from us as humans. big maple trees and this is a hemlock tree that's a cedar tree more hemlocks over there this is a the uh oh, name is failing me it's a useless tree i can't remember it's super softwood kind of useless cottonwood there we go cottonwood tree this is some maple cedar again or cottonwoods. Cottonwoods are iconically looking like that. Total pain. Can't burn them. Can't make them rot away fast enough. Back up our little trail. Another nibble on these ferns if you don't mind. More ferns over there. She's actually stopped and I didn't... I didn't... Uh, I didn't ask her to stop, so we'll just give a little 
little squeeze. Not a lot. Our goal should be to be kind of quiet. Pass by Yoka and Gracie. Luke's over here. Bye, Luke. Lena's in a rush. See, she's picked up her pace. Little Gracie. Travel along. It's a nice little ride. That's the fish. Now the willow tree is kind of interesting when this what are we doing? I don't want to go in there. Keep heading upwards. And we're gonna turn around soon. After Lena comes up here for a bit of a nibble. I shall allow her some some nibbles. I'll have a little bit of nibble of grass here. And uh, just enjoy the scenery. Okay, let's go around a little bit more. So I give a little squeeze, and then I might bump a little with my right leg. And now my left leg, so she'll go down the hill. Now, it's, what's interesting about riding on, uh, like not in the arena, trails or places like this where you have to go up and down a little bit. It actually causes you to think about your balance. I don't want to go see Gracie. Why would we want to go see? Well, we don't want to go see Gracie, do we? We want to go somewhere else. So I might just bump a little with my left leg. There's Gracie. Look at her coming in with her ears. <laughs> don't nibble on that. Come on. Let's go this way. And then I'm going to get ready with the right leg. Just a little touch, a little pressure on that side, off we go. And around. Anyways, what I was saying was that um, when you're going around in the arena, it's always flat. But when you're going around on trails, trail riding and stuff like that, it's rarely flat. Usually you have to um, think about your balance forward and backward a little bit more. So when you're going down, you'll lean back a little. When you're going up, you'll lean up. You'll lean forward a little. Sort of check your center of gravity a bit. Get that sorted out so that it makes sense for everybody involved. I just love this uh, little trail system. I can't wait to grow this. Hopefully this summer, get a little cash together and get some more gravel in and start carving out a bit more of the land. Trying to keep trees, you know, because it's nice. Ride through them. Opens up the land a little bit more instead of it being, it's not necessarily a waste, but it's kind of, could be used better. I'll cruise around. But anyway, so what I'm really, I'll get back to what I'm trying to work on, is the idea that, uh, you know, when Lena comes out of lessons, she tends to sort of be in that position of uh, she does what she wants. The students, you know, take their time in figuring out exactly how to get all this sorted out and telling a horse what to do and, and not settling for too much trouble. You know, we try to get them to do as we request. So I tend to try to uh, hop on at the end and just be consistently reliable to her in regards to things that I ask. And these trails are great because of the the choices. So she has a choice to go to the right or the left. She's choosing left. So I'll block that. And I'll say, I'm not going to settle for that. So my left leg is kind of on, you see. And I might give just a slight bump bump. Just a subtle little. And she knows. Now a little bit with my right leg to push her to the left. And now I might let her settle. Little right leg here, so we make a choice. And uh, that consistency and that reliability is, is what they always need. At least I found. And it, uh, it ends off lessons or time with the horse to be um, what I want it to be, I guess you could say. So 
I don't, not that I believe that uh, a horse is, horse is going to be ruined of some sort. You, need, you do something and they remember it forever, but uh, having things go a little bit more the way that I would like them to go is always beneficial in the long run. Holy! Somebody needs some attention. Those ears and everything. So this has been a nice little ride. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it a bit. I know it's a little monotonous just on the property here, but a few little tips and tricks perhaps. As we cruise around, I lean forward a little bit as we climb up the hill. Oh, off we go. She did step on that rock, but I have to put that back. Up for some nibbles. Hey, a little bit more. There, right onto the grass. Oh, that's good. Not that there's much here anyways, it's winter time. It's kind of more moss than grass. That's it. There's our wildies. He's coming along really well with uh, some riding too. She's not, she's only three, barely three, so riding's out of the question for the time being, but lots of good action. Lots of good groundwork and work with her. Okay, that's it for now. You guys can enjoy a little bit of Lena chowing down time, and uh, I will end that here and see you guys in the next one.